Alrighty y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Today is December the 19th, 2019. It's cold. It's probably, I don't know, getting down in the 40s right now. And I wanted to do this video before we lost too much light. The project at hand, uh, I'm going to be installing E-Track on the trailer's floor behind me. So what is, if you don't know what E-Track is, I'll give you a look. This is a very, very versatile and flexible type of cargo containment uh, attachment system. A lot of box trucks, a lot of um, tractor trailers that haul freights of different varying loads, partial sizes, use E-Track to secure the freight. So you can, a lot, of, a lot of guys that use um, box trucks for landscaping, that use enclosed trailers, they will use this because there is a ton of attachments that you can get for this, okay? It can be mounted horizontally on the wall or vertically on the wall. And this is the most flexible way to tie down mowers, uh, anything else that you haul with your trailer. Now the reason that I'm going with this instead of just like D-rings, is that I haul other stuff besides motorcycles, or I'm sorry, besides lawnmowers, which some of which are motorcycles, and sometimes the D-rings just aren't in the right place. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a, an eight-foot section of E-Track down each side of the trailer, and then in the front, I'm going to be mounting this this way, perpendicular to that, so I'll have... Um, a piece this way and two eight foot pieces that way which will allow me and give me fle an almost unlimited flexibility of tie down points for both the mowers and the motorcycles and whatever else I decide to haul. The advantages of E-Track are it's super flexible, it's extremely strong. I'm going to be using these plates to sandwich the uh, bolts. I'm actually going to be bolting this to the floor and we'll use that as a sandwich. This will easily hold um, the weight of the right mower even if the trailer was flipped upside down the way I'm going to mount it. Um, a lot of people will just put you know wood lag screws in there and that's that's not enough we're actually going to bolt it on. So that's um, it's very flexible there's tons and tons and tons of of clamps and bungees and accessories that you can get for E-Track for different things. The disadvantage of E-Track or it's a little more expensive than using D-rings or in floor just um, some type of ring like that. But I think the advantages far outweigh uh, the disadvantages. And you know this, like this piece right here, I think was 16 bucks, and it's super heavy. Now you can use this in your garage too. Uh, you can mount these things on the wall, all over the place, and make you know have shelving and everything else. So. You can do more research if you want to see the advantages and disadvantages. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the camera set up, get in the trailer, let's mark some areas, and let's install some E-Track. Alright, so that's kind of how it's going to be laid out. Um, 
I need it about about that far from the side, almost a foot. Now the one thing you have to consider is under here there's angle iron and I'm not going to be drilling into the angle iron or attaching it into the angle iron. I'm going to be using the plates. So I need to make sure underneath the trailer that where I'm going to put the plates, it's not going to interfere. And it looks like like I need to maybe come down just a little bit here. So that'll be about eight inches in. So I should be able to get the plate. Oh yeah, that'll work good. All right, so once I get it kind of where I want it, I'm going to take a measurement and we're at six and a quarter here. All right, so that is enough to hold this steady while I make my drill holes. There. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get a mallet. So I will uh, bring the camera underneath. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take this plate, I'll take the plate right here, and my nuts and bolts, and go ahead and do that. I'll spare you guys the, the agony of watching that. And I'll show you what it looks like underneath. All right, guys, it's about, I don't know, an hour and a half later. It's really, really cold out here. But anyway, I am done. So I have four plates spaced evenly under the trailer which I'll show you on each of the eight foot sections and I've got a plate on either end on the four foot section and these things are not going anywhere that that wood will rip off the trailer before the uh, these things come out so let me show you what it looks like under this underneath okay so these are Brody plates they're specially designed for the e-track uh, they've got a lot of different mounting holes but the e-track that I got is made by Ericsson and the Brody plates line up perfectly with the Ericsson e-track you can get this on Amazon I'll put a link there but um, I used a quarter inch dash 20 bolts two and a half inches long with lock washers and the corresponding nuts this uh this wood is about an inch thick or so so um, it was the perfect length so yeah i got a, a missing one bolt i've got to do there but anyway it wasn't wasn't a bad job at all only once did I mess up and had to redrill, reposition because there was a beam um, under, right under here, I believe. So, but not a big deal. So, the uh, the mowers and anything else I put on here will now be securely tied. I've got some clips that go in here with a D ring, so I can move them anywhere I want, and I'll get a just a regular ratchet strap with hooks on it and I'll be able to attach 
that to there's um, some holes all the commercial mowers should have tie down points so there's two on the front and then one two on the back so I'll probably do one there and then one on that side and then I'll be able to strap the Honda mower down so it doesn't roll back and forth um, so yeah I should have done this a long time ago uh, if DOT had ever uh, stopped me or stopped anybody with a trailer and it the stuff wasn't secure I've, I've tried strapping stuff down to this and these are super strong but the problem is they're up high and you need the load to be strapped down at least with the mowers because they can roll so anyway that is it for this project i hope you guys enjoyed that i'll put some links on amazon for the e-track super easy super good to do um love it and um yeah it's a good project so guys if you haven't subscribed please do so if you have thank you very much and i will talk to you on the next video